Hey guys, how's it going? We've got uh, a little bit of magnetic jello for you today. Actually, that's just a holder for the steel ball bearings that we use. No, what we've got here today is a demonstration of an uphill ramp. It's not very high. We've only a few stacks of paper here that we're using to up upload this side. We can show you uh, that it goes uphill using the level. We'll stick that right there. And you can see that the bubble in there is turned around so you know that it's not a bad level. So we're going uphill, and that's true all the way down. Push down on that, see it's uphill. Same thing down here, so we're not getting any advantages down here. It's all uphill from, from the very beginning all the way through. This is going to be an uphill exercise. It's all uphill from here. So we're going to get all the sand off of these ceramic discs. You guys probably play around with these ceramic discs. Magnets, you know that they chip off and then little pieces stick on there and they get on the rail and they get on your rollers and then things don't want to roll very well. So Here we've got magnets, uh, rectangular magnets and a little extra one on top just to add a little bit of strength to it. So we've got three that are the same strength, offset like we described in the first video, you know, north, south, north, south. Here we've got a stronger neodymium. I'm not sure what the end rating of any of these is. I don't have a Gauss meter, so I'm just kind of guessing. So I've got a an extra, extra stronger one here than there, and then I've got two more on here to add a little more strength to that. And that also raises the center line of the field. As the ramp gets taller, we're raising the center line of that field because this ball likes to be right in the middle of that field if possible. A little bit of field shaping here just to compensate for the lack of the, what we've got on this end helps bring that on up into the field right here and this is the gun that we're going to be using to demonstrate this force you've probably seen these uh, Gaussian guns elsewhere but the whole purpose here is to show that with no input on this side we're going to get some work done out here even uphill so we're going to use this little piece of tin foil to show how uh, what little bit of force it takes to push this down into the field right there. And, uh... <laughs> you like that, don't you? Our little wave shaper <laughs> moved out of the way a bit. We'll try that one again. So that's just a quick demonstration. It it will get there. We just kind of use the foil to demonstrate that. So again we're just going to take a little bit of force here, just take that, that little bit of foil, we just got a little bit of an uphill up, uphill climb here. Come on foil, do your job. There you go. And there we go. So you can see how hard it was for me to struggle trying to get that ball just to move into the field down here. There's no way I was putting as much effort into this with the foil that we're not gaining on the other end. And that's that's the whole point here is that we're we're using a little bit of input and we're getting a lot of output at the other end. That restriction you see when the ball doesn't quite make it to the end is because of the sand and grit that's getting on this here. So what are we doing here? We're, we're using these to accelerate the magnet because we're getting stronger fields right here. This one's stronger than that one. That one's stronger than this one. Then they're bringing into these two which are stronger than those combined. And that, that acceleration right into that zone hits the plate and all that energy is transferred to the other side. And we see it in movement. There we go again. We love that sand, don't you? That's actually, if you guys notice, some of these magnets are wrapped in packaging tape. And that's why they're wrapped in packaging tape, is to keep those little pieces that tend to come off of them from getting into the works. 
So I've got a couple of them here that aren't wrapped. These on top are not wrapped. We've got some other, and the pieces seem to be getting getting stuck. They love to stick to these metal balls. And then they put nicks in my rail, and you can hear the nicks as you go up and down these rails. I use a little bit of sandpaper if you guys have this problem, a little bit of emery cloth, and I take those nicks out. And that, that helps reduce the restriction on the on the load so once again this is a very very small scale representation of a little bit of work being transferred into a lot of work on the other end and it's it's all a matter of how these fields are shaped and how it's put together this is really just a one-shot device I know you guys all you skeptics are looking at that and you're saying Oh wow, look how much energy it takes to get that ball out of there once it's been in there. Well, you're right. There's probably about five times more energy to get this out of here than we're getting transferred to that one over there. So this is a one-shot device. There's some applications out there where you may need to, to take a little bit of input one time and get it to transfer to get some work done. And uh, that's what it's for. Cheers.